the old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of that. There was a key on the table. It was dirty money.
The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I could hear you. This makes pain. The game started capitalist. He killed him. Uh... Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large.